And here all, it is my great pleasure and honor to discuss with you an important topic today, which is very much needed for scientists working in chemistry, biology, pharmacology. And it is regarding identification of complex extractes, what is the chemical constituents from natural origin, like plants, marine, insects, bee venom, bee products, etc. This method called GNPS, which it stands for Global Natural Products Social Molecular Networking. Of course, we connect this with Dictionary of Natural Products website for identification and using the programs Mr. Nova and the Mass Linux program. So this is a full picture of the method used. And we will put the link for all these websites by the end of the video. Of course, we use also literature data for comparison of fragmentation pattern, in addition, of course, to our knowledge about uh, some rules of fragmentation. We will take some examples from our recent successful published work, which has been, for example, this is species. This is a picture we got from the GNPS. And when we submitted the paper to scientific report, uh, we got minor corrections. So after we did LCMSMS and we use the programs, then we got the identified compounds, as you can see in the picture. You will see the compound is, which is the pink color. It is identified by molecular weight only, compound by green color, which means it is identified by name and molecular weight, while the yellow color is compounds identified by name and molecular weight, but the precursor parent ion is wrong, so we cannot consider for identification, which means literature data. Therefore, if we look here for the final identification, we make a table as well about the compound, precursor mass, database fragmentation, and identified fragments. And we add reference as well. Second example, we use a method also for comparative studies, and we got minor revision of this paper. So this, we make a comparison of LC, LTQ, MS, MS analysis of the leaf extract of two Lantana species, Lantana camara and Lantana montevidensis, growing in Egypt with insides into their antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and cytotoxic activity. We just published this work in collaboration with Inchams, uh, German University in Cairo and uh, Taiwan. So if we look to the LC, we first uh, submit the subject the sample to LCMS MS analysis. After that, we started our successful way for identification. And this is a picture we got about molecular networking showing the clusters of metabolites of interest based on tandem mass spectrometry data in the positive ionization mood of lantana extractis. So the network is displayed by chart of to reflect the relative abundance of each ion in the analyzed sample of the two species. And we could successfully identify 59 compounds of the two species. In the next, we will show you the example so you can follow for identification of your work. We are looking forward for your positive criticism and you can uh, send this uh, video to your students, your colleagues. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are going to do practically uh, how to do GMBS or molecular networking, uh, something like this. So it's used to differentiate between different species of plants, uh, like this one. So we have two species. We want comparative analysis between both of them and the screening the metabolites from these two different plants. 
So as we can see, GNBS is like clustering groups. Everyone, all, all, every cluster contains a similar fragmentation pattern. So here we compare between two different species, and this is our simply paper, published paper. Or we can see something like this. So this in this paper we used is in this paper used like different type of extracts like crude extract, hexane, chloroform, ethyl acetate, ethanol, aquas, and he wanted to comparative analysis between all of them, which contain most metabolites or bioactive compounds, for example. So that's why you used GMBS. So if you want to do molecular networking, we need these programs, MS Converter and FileZilla, finally, Cytoscape. Yeah. So let's go to website, GMBS, to create a new account for you. So you just GMBS, enter. You will find something like this. If you have already account, then you go log in to existing account. If you don't have, you go to register new account. So you just need to fill this username and then organization, email, password, and of course, memorize username and password. So log in. So now you successfully logged in. Then you go to the data you want to convert. This is your MS raw data profile. So we want to convert this raw files to MZML file so that we can establish it on GMBS website. So for this, we need a program called MS Convert. Here, you bought your, this is your input data. You insert your three files, one, two, three. Open. And of course, our bot side, we will put it in desktop. We need it for 64 bit. Then we don't need zip file. So here in this options filters, we need big picking and we need MS2. And then add after this start, after it finished converter, every, converting, this is your data you want to upload to the server. Second, we go to FileZilla program. Why using FileZilla? So we can upload your converted data to the GMBS website. So we use this FileZilla. So here we bought your host server, CCMS, so on. You will find it in the description. And then your username and password you of the GNBS account. So let's do it practically. So this is our account. We bought here host, then our username, password. Then there's okay, you will find all your projects you have done in GMBS. So let's see, this is our data, how we bought it inside. We just drag. So we take all of this refile and drag it over here. So it's already there, so we don't need to replace. So how to open this data? We go to our website. Here, then we click in create molecular network. After you create molecular network, you'll find something like this. Let's make it like test file. Here, you will find a spectrum file. Here, you bought your data. So once you select input files, this other window will open. Spectrum, this is group one. You see, this all your data you have done before. So we'll go for test file. G1, let's make it blank. And G3, let's make it like this file, we make it G2, group two. And four, we make it group three. And then you start finish selection. After this, you will, we just want to modify some parameters. So we go here, intensity depends on your mass spectrometry. So here, intensity for myself, for my apparatus, I use like two. And here, we hear like library minimum match it big six, it's okay. Minimum match it fragment ion six. So it's okay also. And then we submit. You see here, you bought your email, then it will notify you for your file. After this finish, you will find, let's go to jobs. This is all jobs you have done. Let's see this one, one of them. So once it finished, you will see a screen like this. So what we need to open it in, in program called Cytoscape. So that will lead, that will load GraphML for Cytoscape. 
So now we'll see the loading. So after you are you downloaded your file, you'll find it in downloads. You just extract all files. Then this is your file. So this one, now we open site to scale program. So press here. This is to open your file. And let's go to downloads. This is our download file. And open this file, graph HTML. Open. Now it's trying to do your network. You see, now this is your network, how it looks like. So now we want to process to make it much better and to identify and put some parameters. So first, let's go to style. Here in the style, you will find a lot of styles you can use, like this one. So for myself, I used solid. This one, for example. Okay, now this is your data, MS data. You see it's making in good shape, like it, a lot of clusters, groups, each cluster have similar fragmentation, it will be in elucidation. So now first, go to fill color. You see like default groups. So this is to, to make it in groups, each groups have different color. So discrete mapping, you see you, we have here three, first G1. This is the first species. Let's make it in like red color, okay? You see now G1 only in red color. Now, if we make G2 in another color, this is the second species we have. Let's make it, for example, in blue color, okay? So you see, so we have species one have only the red colors. Species two has the blue color. Now for the similarities, both of them have the same. So we go to edit, edit selected, and make the similarities with another color, let's say, pink color, for example, okay. Of course, you choose the color that you want. Now, this is how it is. So now we can see that we have different colors for each species. So someone will call, will ask like, I don't, ha I have only one species or one LSMS data. So I need colors for just identify compounds and uh, I want to color. So it depends on you. So now we can change all of these parameters as we want. So here like field colors, I want to change the colors for precursor mass, for uh, identified compounds, for groups. So whatever suits you. And after this, so imagine some that in the databases of GNBS, it identifies some compounds. So we can put it in different chips also. So we'll go here, we'll go here for chips, chip. We choose compound name. So we go discrete mapping. So it identify in all of this compound compared to the database. So here we use different chip, let's say like V chip. Okay, so you see now, this is different shapes correlated to identified compound. But now your work is to identify all the other compound. Of course, we change the, the color of uh, label. We can change the length, the white, everything we can change. Another thing we can add, like if we go to here, like edges here, so this is these options are correlated to the edge between different nodes. So let's see, this is like, for example, 483 molecular weight, and this one is 541. So we can label it to make different between both of them. So if we go here, like we make it mass difference, you see now, so the difference between both of them, like 58, 87, it will be, it will help you to identify some compounds. So, for example, if you wait 58, you maybe have like a profile group, or so you go to mass difference and you can help to identify if you have sugar units, if you have whatever in your database. So, here, like loss of missile group. So, this is how you do GMBS molecular network. Of course, once you practice it yourself and you do it a lot and a lot and a lot 
then you it, you will find it different application you can use for it. Thank you for listening and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.